Yo, what up everybody? How's it going? Can y'all hear me okay? Good. Good, good, good. So, oh my god. Welcome to me bringing back the Division Community Podcast. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I was ever going to do one of these again because I didn't get the warm and fuzzies from Massive for content coming for Division, whether it was in the form of Year 3 content or was Division 2 being announced. So now, Morning. if you That's haven't already time. heard, let me be the first to tell you Division 2 was announced today during Massive's State of the Game on Twitch. There were really no details given other than the fact that it is going to be revealed at E3, which I'll be at E3. Yes. Thank you, Jen. I'll be at E3. So hopefully I'll get to see it. Maybe we get some hands on. Maybe we get some hands on. I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to do it. But we'll see what happens. So let's talk about what they talked about today during the uh, all the information that they gave out. So what do we know? Before we jump into Division 2, let's talk about Division 1 and what was said. So Division, the original, is going to get two more updates. They're going to get two more content updates. One in April, one in June. When during those months is anyone's guess? The way Massive typically does things, I would assume it's probably going to be towards the end of each month. That's just the way they roll. Every time they give a month, it's basically the month after whenever you get it. Because it's the last week of that month. So, they've also decided that they're not just going to be called numbered updates anymore. Like we're at 1.8, so in April we get 1.8.1. They're like, oh, let's call it something else. Let's be cool. This one's going to be Strawberry. So if you hear 1.8.1 or Division Strawberry, same thing. What are we getting? Well, we know of two of the new, of the four new Legendary missions coming to Division. So in April, we're going to get two more Legendary missions. And if you don't know what Legendary missions are, they're supposedly the hardest content in the game. Um, it... You basically are running a mission, and that mission is redesigned to be more difficult than the standard mission is on Challenging. Those two missions are going to be Amherst and Grand Central Station. So Amherst Apartment and Grand Central Station are going to have a legendary mode as of next month. Which, I like incursions and legendary missions. They give a sense of challenge, which I'm totally for. I definitely want to be challenged whenever I'm playing the game. So I think this is, even though it's not going to be anything huge or anything massive to the game, I think it's definitely going to be something that helps out. Um, at least for me, it'll give me something else to go, go and do and try to master and then help people get through. What else is coming next month? We're going to be getting two new global events. One is going to be next month. and It's going to be coming in April when, one point, when Strawberry drops. And then in May we're going to get the second one. And they're called Blackout and Onslaught. What do they do? No idea. They didn't give any details on what it's going to do. But I'll tell you when I will know. Tomorrow during the PTS for Strawberry. It drops on PC so if you have a copy of the division on PC and you want to be in the PTS it's a free download you can download it and test it out I'm definitely going to be checking it out to see what's to expect out of these two new missions well, the other things that are going to be included next month in the update finally Xbox One X is going to get the 4k patch we're finally going to have the 4k patch for the Xbox One X so we can really see what the game looks like and how beautifully it will run on the Xbox One X um, I'm excited for that because the whole point of getting the X was to get better quality games, so I'm really or better Morning visuals on game. Time. So I'm really anxious to see what that looks like and how that's going to work out. Um, so we talked about the 
PTS, the new global events, legendary missions. Drop oh, rates are going to be improved. Next month when Strawberry hits the game, the drop rates for classifieds and exotics are going to be improved. All bosses are going to have a 6% chance of dropping classifieds up from 3. Uh, legendary missions are going to have a 20% chance of dropping classifieds. And you're going to be able to buy classified caches with Phoenix credits. They're going to be 2,500 Phoenix credits a piece. So we can buy two with 5,000. And then you'll have to go regrind for your 5,000. Also, once Strawberry drops, each global event, you'll be able to take your global event tokens and buy specific caches for gear sets. You'll be able to get specific caches for gear sets that allow you to hopefully get one of the pieces that you're missing. So say we are on next week we're doing or next month during outbreak they're like we're going to give you all of them. Well you're only missing predator gloves. You'll be able to take your G tokens and go buy a predator classified cache and hope that you get the piece that you need. But if not you'll be able to keep grinding and buy that specific gear set for your character. What's going on James? So that's going to be an awesome inclusion as well. They didn't announce what was coming in June other than two more legendary missions, which I'm fine with. Two more legendary missions, but they're not telling us what they are yet. That could be because they don't know. They could be going back and forth, or they just may want to surprise us and not give us everything all at once today. Either way, I'm happy. Four new legendary missions means four more chances at getting exotics which means more phoenix credits more exotic caches and hopefully more classifieds and seeing that i run this game on all platforms that's going to help me get my character up to date so on to the big news with division 2 being announced today what does that mean it means a lot of things it means that and they said this specifically, they decided to go with Division 2 versus continuing to add content to the Division because they feel like they could provide a better game starting from scratch. Which tells me that they know that all the bugs that they have in the Division, they can get rid of them with a fresh, clean slate and start rebuilding the game the way that it is now minus all of the... Uh, glitches and bugs that are in the game now which I'm totally for I know a lot of people are like no you should just giving me more division content I wanted to be able to find out what was in Central Park you know what's in Central Park trees and bodies you know why because that's what the lore says it's in and I said lore lore Morning. that is what it's the lore like says zone. it is a graveyard so you don't want to go there you might want to go there I don't know but that's what's there. So let them take it all. Let it go outside of New York. Or if they can leave it in New York and we'll clean up Central Station or Central Park. I don't care. Whatever. Give me a new game, less glitches, hopefully, and don't fall into the mess that Destiny 2 fell into. Please, please, please let my hype be real and not have to go through what the Destiny community went through with Destiny 2 and again with them saying that they're going to restart the game from scratch and feel like they could build a solid foundation then I feel like they actually have put a lot of thought into it um, PC Games PC Games Con or PC Games In released an article today saying that this is actually the game has been in development for almost two years now so it seems like somebody got information. I don't know how reliable it is. This is just from the website. Um, an article came out saying that they've been actually working on Division 2 for quite some time now. Which also tells me that we shouldn't have to wait too long for the game to drop. Because if it's already been in development, even if it's only been into development for a year and a half, that means this year at E3 when they do a reveal, it should be pretty close to what they're expecting because I don't expect them to have all the setbacks that they had with the original division and all the pushbacks. 
I will be documenting everything that they say that they're going to add to the game. So that way if it doesn't get added, I have a checklist to go back and be like, okay, well this is what they didn't do. This is what they didn't do. Oh, they didn't say they were going to do this, but they did this. Because I feel like they have a, a huge undertaking. I feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff that they have to work through to A, gain the confidence back of the player base. B, provide an experience that's worth spending another 60 to to $100 on, depending on what version of the game you get. If, you get, if, if there is going to be a season pass, which we know there is going to be a season pass, what it's going to be. And... C, try not to lose 90% of the player base within the first month. They can't let those things happen. That'll kill, that will kill the game. That will be the nail in the coffin for the game if they do that. So I'm with you. I think that the beta is going to be critical. I don't think that uh, people are going to jump into it as quickly as they did. With the, with the original division and going out and buying the game and pre-ordering the game immediately. Um, I'll be 100% honest with you, full disclosure. I'm going to have a copy of the game on every platform, yet again. Season Pass. No joke. You don't put almost 4,000 hours into a game and not want to continue to play it when it comes out. The Crests or the Shields um, are going to be included in division and what those essentially are is we are going to be able to do things in division now as it stands well once 1.8.2 or parsnip i believe is what they called it drops and we don't get, we don't get the rewards for it now we get the rewards for it when division two drops so that's pretty awesome i'm i'm cool with that it's probably just going to be cosmetics but as someone who has bought every emote and bought, bought every skin that they've had to sell. What can I say? I'm a junkie for their stuff. I'm invested in this game. And I don't plan on that changing. Unless something crazy stupid happens. I mean if you think about it. We are going to have a lot of information between now and then. Well I'm not going to say between now and then. Because we probably won't get very much right now. Until E3 comes out. But you better believe I will be at E3 checking out what I can and reporting in in real life streams from my phone from a tablet so y'all can see it I'm gonna try to get a as much information as I can um, what would I like to see in in division 2 in terms of PvP that's a good question I don't even want to start to think about what they could or couldn't do because there's a lot of things that I don't like what I will tell you in terms of PvP, what I want, what I honestly, truly, truly am hoping for in terms of PvP is just balance. Balance the weapons. Balance the sets. If we're going to have gear sets, let's make these gear sets not OP. Right now, Striker, Predator, Nomad, if you're not running one of the Holy Trinity gear sets, you're basically going to get killed in the Dark Zone, in Skirmish. Um, it is almost rendered Alpha Bridge and Banshee useless, which I love Banshee as a gear set. I think Banshee is a phenomenal, phenomenal gear, gear set in terms of going rogue and fighting rogues. But if you go up against a striker with stacks, you're done. You're done. It's over. So if you're just tuning in and you haven't heard, Des uh, Division 2 has been announced today. And there will be a reveal for it at E3. So pretty stoked about that. I have also started a Facebook page. Um, Division 2 community, uh, Gaming Community on Facebook. If someone can post a link, that would be great. I'll have a link in the uh, podcast of this when it comes out. And we will... Uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to see you all there. What I'd like to know is what is it that the community wants to see with the game? In terms, like I said, in terms of PvP, I just want balance. I want a balanced game. I want to play a game that isn't determined. A fight isn't determined on a set that you're wearing. The set is supposed to supplement your skill in the game, but it's not supposed to be the reason that you win a fight. That's 
what I want to know. What are you guys looking for, and get, guys and gals looking for, in terms of Division Two and what it has to offer? Do we want more missions? Do we want more legendaries? Do we want more incursions? Do we want eight-man squads? Do we want... I mean, what, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? I want to know. I want to know what y'all think. I'm trying to figure out... I, I want to hear your thoughts so that way it, uh, it gives us open discussion. So, with that being said, I leave the uh, I leave it open to you guys to answer questions, and I'll answer or ask questions, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. See, you, Dark Rhino, you want a bigger DZ icon? What up, Coleman? What up, Shix? Vortex, I see all you guys. Tyven, I didn't get to say hi earlier. Unreal Gamer, uh, because I was going through the news that dropped today. You want a bigger DZ and bigger DZ teams. I'd love to be able to go in the DZ with a team of eight. Or give me something like Last Stand, but let me have my own 18. You know what? To answer your question, Biggin, I want private matches. I want private matches. I think that would be huge. For someone who hasn't touched the game since launch, how different is the game for me if I haven't bought any of the DLC? Still worth jumping back? Yes. It's absolutely worth jumping back. As a matter of fact, if you're not playing Survival, the other DLC, in my opinion, is cool. But it's not anything that's going to make or break. You're going to be able to do everything you need to do between the modes that they've included for free and the Dark Zone and the new missions. When's it coming out? We won't know. We probably won't know anything if not, uh, until E3, if not after E3. They did announce they're going to be at GamesCon as well, which I think at GamesCon, I think at GamesCon... They going to be, uh, they're going to have demos out because GamesCon is huge, and I'm mad that I'm not in Germany and I can't go this year. But hey, I'll take my blessings as I can. I get to go to E3 when they announce it. I do believe it's going to be in 2019. I do believe it's going to be in 2019, if not sooner. If not sooner. Yes, all the DLCs are except Skirmish. But Skirmish isn't even a DLC. Skirmish is free uh, content. Can't have the chicken dance be a thing in PvP of Des uh, Division 2. I keep saying Destiny 2 because D2. Everybody has been referring to Destiny as D2. So I see it and it's immediately in my head Destiny. <laughs> Destiny is dead. Divi I know. It'll, it'll stick with me. I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock that we get... Division 2. I will say that I, if I were to make an assumption, and this is strictly an assumption with no Morning. Entering um, no evidence pointing to it whatsoever, I would assume that we could potentially get Division 2 fourth quarter, which is fall winter time frame of 2018. I think it could be this year. I think it could be this year. You think it's going to be on uh, in March one year from now? think so? I mean, that's a good guess. Jen, you say spring 2019 as well? It very well could be. Your best guess is January 19. If it's been in development for at least a year and a half, so when they show what they show at E3, which we know is going to be a bougie, version of the game because they're going to put everything they can into the marketing to make it look as beautiful as it can be. Once they do that, we'll know kind of where where it stands from there. But I'm I'm for one, I'm stoked. Like you have no idea how happy I am. They announced that and I pretty much was like I'm done with work. I'm done. I need to go talk to people. Fix rogue point 2.0. I'm tired of seeing the server not go rogue and sitting at the rogue terminal a lot of people are asking for a pve pvp dark zone uh they're thinking that they might get it because of this i have issues i'm serious i was ready to go i was done this game has consumed so much of my life 
And when I don't play it, I get upset that I'm not playing it because I feel like I'm doing a disservice. But at the same time, you have to be drawn into a game to want to play it. A game has to be rewarding. A game has to give a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't... I've spent... I've spent... 12 hours a day on that game. And that was for me coming home from work and then staying up till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning learning the mechanics of the game, learning how to do the incursions. Back when the incursions were... People were only beating it with glitches. I remember I didn't beat uh, Falcon's Lost until I got a full tactician build and I was the tact person running the immunizer and smart cover keeping my team alive on the wall in 1.3 so that way we could get through the entire thing while they were running sentry with the uh, with the uh, M1A1 that's when I played it that's how long I've been playing I put hours I would stay up all hours of the night farming Falcon's Lost because I wanted a striker build or I wanted a sentry build because that was the only way that you could get it. And then the next night I'd have to stay up for Jen on her account and do it for her. So I've put a lot of my time into this game over the past two years. And I don't feel like I would be I would be doing myself a disservice to not get the new game. To not get the new game with a season pass on all platforms. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. Too bad you didn't glitch when that first came out. Could run the DZ then. Man, I didn't do glitches. I tried not to do glitches. Just because it wasn't me. It wasn't what I did. You know, I wanted to I wanted to try I wanted to legit be good at this game. I don't play a ton of games and when I got sucked into the division, I was like, if I'm gonna play this game, I need to get good at this game. And I spent hours doing it hours I think I'm at 3,000 hours now between almost 4,000 hours between PlayStation Xbox and PC so um, I'm all in and I know Jen's right there with me I would like them to include survival I'm gonna say this I know Jen mentioned it earlier she wants a better version of survival I want survival and I'm gonna say it and some people are gonna be like no I want survival battle royale style that's what I want in survival. Let me go in, find gear, make it to the dark zone, and try to be the last one, try to be the only one to extract. Don't make me mess with no hunters. I don't want to mess with no hunters. I want it to be me versus how many ever other people they put into survival with me. That's what I that's what I want. You can't see that happening. You can't see that happening. Just to let you know, Division 2 is stated to release in 2019. No firm date, though. You can check Ubisoft's website for upcoming games. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't until 2019. I'm just saying that I feel like if they're as far as they are into development, and are they... They're going to have to do a lot of beta testing between June when Parsnip drops 1.8.2. And Division 2 comes out. Because if they wait, what, how many months is that? So six months? That's nine months. They're going to have nine months. Nine months of no content. No added content to the Division. And um, Division 2 coming out. That's a long time for them to do something. They did say that every month we're going to have global events from now until Division 2 drops. So for those of you missing gear, missing accommodations, we're going to continue to get those. The new blackout, the new global event, I'll be testing it tomorrow on the PTS. I'm going to install the PTS and update it. So I'll be testing that tomorrow um, to see what is going on. I'm also going to be trying to play through Amherst on Legendary and Grand Central Station. I want to see what those are like on, um, on the Legendary mode. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm happy to get another legendary mission. I feel like there's nothing in the game I can't do. I smash survival. I smash the incursions. I smash the legendaries. I hold my own in the dark zone. 
there's nothing left for me to do. I need more content. And, and I'll take four new legendary missions. But that's really everything I have for now. If you want to, if you want to uh, join the Facebook page, put a link into the chat, and I'll put a link in uh, the podcast as well so you can get it. Have a go one, Jack. Go get your clown mask. 